Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton and I'm going to channel for you. Blessings, we are Thymus, we are the collective of Ascended Masters. We know that we ask a lot of you in these transmissions. We know that we are asking you a lot of yourselves. In other words, we are prompting you to expect more from yourselves. You are the ones in charge there. Because you are the ones who get to use your free will. And our hope is to guide you to use that free will appropriately. We don't have any easy answers for you, and we don't have any bailouts to give you. We place the power in your hands, and we seek to then offer you the instruction manual that you were not given when you were born into that body. With your power, you get to choose, and your decisions create. You are there to create, and we know that you would like to experience better feeling creations. Our best guidance to you then would be to pay attention to how you are feeling as you make each and every decision that you do in your lives. You are making the decision to focus on something or someone, and you are making the decision to focus in a particular way. When you are conscious that you have a choice and that you get to make a decision for yourself, then you want to do so while also paying attention to the feeling inside of you that is telling you everything you need to know about that decision. You develop lots of fancy techniques to help you to decide, and they are usually mind-oriented ones. Your feelings matter. Your feelings materialize into physical form. And your feelings will continue to tell you what you are in the process of materializing. Pay attention and choose consciously. 
we know that this approach works because we know that while you were not given an instruction manual, you were given everything that you need. You have your feelings. You have your ability to choose your free will. And you have powerful minds that you get to focus. Now, just because it took you longer in life to understand that you had all of these powers doesn't mean that you are lost or that you woke up too late to be able to do any good with this knowledge. You are perfect as you are and you are perfect where you are because you are always meant to be expanding. And from where you are, all you can do is expand. Feel also for the expansion of a decision. And when you can feel that decision is taking you to the more expansive place you ultimately want to go, then you know it is the right one. You often hear people say, follow your heart. And we want you to know it is some of the best advice you will ever be given. It is so simple, and yet it is only three words. Spend some time meditating on those three words and ask yourself the question of what does following my heart look like to me? Your answer may surprise you, but then again, Surprises are good. Surprises mean you are moving in a new direction and that new direction will always be the growth of who you are as a soul. We promise to be here with you holding your hand along every step of the way. That is all for now. We are Thymus, we are the collective of Ascended Masters and we are always amongst you. Uh. Day. Many blessings to you and yours. Thanks for watching. I'm Daniel Scranton. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe to it if you are uh, watching on YouTube and not subscribed yet to it. Um, I have some announcements to make. As of the making of this video, I still have time left on my 50% off sale, 50% off channel readings with me where I channel for you and channeling lessons from me as well at danielscranton.com slash session to get a session. Use the code love at checkout, L-O-V-E, and see the 50% taken right off when you click apply. And if you're on your phone, make sure you scroll after you click it because you won't see it right away. On the screen you're looking at, it'll be lower down. Um, so that's happening. Advanced group channeling class on the 26th is happening at danielscranton.com slash learn. All, all these links are down below in the description on YouTube, by the way. And that's two hours with the Arturian Council. They'll be doing all the teaching. You'll be doing channeling along with me. I'll be channeling the Arturians and uh, they'll lead you through a bunch of processes to get you to channel. That'll be recorded. It won't be on Zoom. You won't have uh, the camera option. You'll just be on Instant Tell Seminar, which is um, something you can attend by phone or computer. And um, you can use that, uh, that recording to practice and practice some more um, after it's done. So that's a good thing about that one. Here comes Kaliandra. Um, her birthday's coming up real soon. 
I also have um, pay what you want items down there in the description. Uh, I have the the Mike Dooley book on Amazon right now with Matt Kahn, Daryl Anka, Lisa Royal Holt, Sarah Landon, and others who were a part of that with me um, channeling, uh, each of us channeling for that book. And it's called The Great Awakening. And uh, it's done very well so far. And the Sedona 2025 channel panel in uh, January 2025. There's also a link down there in the description on YouTube for that. Um, we saw in and out and we saw inside out two this weekend at the theater with the cousins talaya's cousins and her aunt and the two of us and we loved it my wife and i both cried uh, i thought it was brilliant brilliant i used to write screenplays i know that making a movie is challenging and making it good is very challenging and those people who are making those movies are doing a fantastic job because then we went and we watched Inside Out 1 again at home yesterday on the TV. And that movie's still brilliant, too. Um, and it's amazing what they're teaching these kids in these movies. It's just so phenomenal. That's why I don't like it when people knock Hollywood as all being bad. It's doing some really great things uh, for us all, consciousness-wise, too. Um, so you always got to think about that, the, the, the bigger picture. Um, sure, there's there's bad things happening um, everywhere in society, not just Hollywood. Um, so um, that was part of our weekend. And uh, yesterday we just chilled. Uh, we went to the farmer's market and we came home and chilled. And Talia is so excited about her birthday coming up in three weeks, less than three weeks now. And we're planning the party and everything, getting the cake. And um, she continues to... I'm so glad we got her. It, it, it's nice that she needed all these new clothes at the same time that the seasons were changing. So we're getting her all these new clothes, but they're also like warm clothes, which she needed anyway. And then uh, when it gets warm, we'll have to get her more clothes. But she's she's really enjoying all of her new clothes now and um, doesn't love the farmer's market, but uh, goes along for it, the ride with us. <laughs> so she's a trooper. And um, that's all I got. That's Oh, I finished watching Rogue One also, and that is such a good movie. I hadn't seen it since seeing it in the theater when it came out, and uh, seeing it again, I'm like, wow. That is definitely the fourth best Star Wars movie, without a doubt. And uh, yeah, I, I was very, very happy. I hope they give that guy, or those that team, the writers and the director, because there was more than one writer, the director is a guy, um, and uh, I was, I'm hoping they give them more to do more because they really nailed it. They even got the force right. The force is more than just moving things with your mind and being good at, at lightsaber play, you know, and they, they just nailed it. So I was very, very happy. Anyway, um, I'm going to go transcribe this now. I love you guys. Namaste. Blessings to you and yours. Take care and uh, peace out. <laughs>